In this video, we're going to be talking about Meco machines. Paul, it's a new one on me. What are they about? Yeah, well, this is a product that's now supplied in the UK by DTS and has been for about the last 12 months. Um, for those that follow our channels, we do a lot with DTS on their Correa machines, their Geminis machines, uh, metal cutting technology, of mm -hmm. which this is, but in a different area. So if we take a look at the website, what you'll see is the, the array of machines that they're actually, they, they manufacture here in Spain that DTS are supplying. What's really interesting is trying to look and think of the applications that would that would befit these machines. Uh, and it's an area of industry that I've never really been too involved in, but we're talking about making splines here, keyways, mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of operations that we now talk about that can be done on more conventional CNC technology. However, they're better placed on these types of yeah, machines. Yeah, it's kind of gone full circle. I, I remember I used to do you know keyways and stuff during my apprenticeship, and you go around seeing these CNC machines, and I don't care what CNC machine you've got, like met conventional metal cutting CNC, you will not do it as fast as the machine I did it in the 90s. And then that machine was probably 40 years old, really yeah. old machines. So these things do- with you controlling it. Exactly, with me yeah. controlling it. So they do go full circle. I would agree. I guess if you're doing a one-off and you don't do that type of technology, clearly you're not going to invest in this machine. But if you're doing r regular work or maybe medium vol volume, you should look at this. You should, and you should also think about the effect on a machine tool if you are continually doing this type of operation. Ways, yeah. yeah, I mean, now, now some machine tool manufacturers will talk about how their machines are now geared up to do this, and I'm sure they are. But in the same way that you're saying, are they geared up to do it day in, day out? With a machine like this, you've got almost like the vertical ram uh, that is that is doing the operation, and you can do all kinds of splines on here. You can do anything from, uh, well, conical spines, even blind holes, which is mm -hmm. something, again, is not Tricky. a very nice... Uh, operation that you'd like to that you'd like to be involved in um, small machines medium machines and even up to the large key sinking machines now if we look in the menu um, here above you'll see large key seating machines and these these key seating machines go up okay, to wow, yeah. three meters in diameter and up to one and a half meters in height for a type of part so again you're not going to be doing that on a on a, on a small turning center are you or a or a machining center this is where this mm -hmm. type of technology um, fits and some people like the thought of getting the part off on one so let's if, let's do it on my lathe let's do it on my mill but arguably it slows your process down i'm not saying don't do it that way but if you're doing medium volume sometimes you are just better off turning it or milling it to a state then having another operation possibly in the same cell as the machine it, and just getting it a lot quicker it's no different to an engineer having a lathe and a machining center mm. some companies will say well I'll put them all together and have a turning center that's got milling cap capability these machines there are companies out there that specialize in this service if you need a service like this you're likely to have to subcontract it sure. to those companies if your volumes are going up why would you want to do that when you can invest in uh you know a, a machine here that's made by a company in spain supplied by dts and also very competitively priced whether the sizes are you know uh, small or up to the three meters by one and a half meters in diameter. And DTS, so what they would call a service first business, aren't they? And that's something to be considered as well. Yeah, you're right. I mean, the service and support is everything as well. And by buying one of these through a company here in the UK, uh, okay, the machines are made in Spain, but the support, the service, the application side, some of the machines that DTS sell, if I specifically pick on the the Correa machines, big, heavy industrial machines that are machining very hard materials, parts for, you know, tough mm. industries. Uh, they might need keyways, splines, and it might be quicker to do that on a machine like this. Sure. So, you know, they're the areas where DTS can support you as well. There we are. Thanks, Paul. If you at home are watching and you want more information on Mecco machines, please do get in touch with DTS and I'm sure they'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.